Hi everyone, my name is Girish Rao. Thanks for watching this video. This video was brought to you by Fingster Academy. When doing Linux scripting work for some of my IT clients, um, I have come across several situations where, um, you know, I have to, in Linux, I, there is an environment variable, so they usually have a name or equal to sign and like the rest of the path. We call them path prefixes. So, you know, several times a path prefix has to be removed so that we get the rest of the path. Or many times, you know, when my clients ask for the data extraction, data scrubbing, um, there is like rows and rows and columns of, for example, you know, the data will have something like cost equals $5, cost equals $7. And you're kind of wondering, oh, how the heck do I remove this cost equals? So I just, you know, the number can be recognized as an integer or a float number. So. Python, using Python, um, and especially Python 3.9, there are, you know, there's this nifty, really nice, simple, uh, intuitive remove prefix method or a remove suffix method in the string objects where you can, you know, pass it um, either as a one liner or as a bunch of lines, which I'll show you eventually, um, how to remove these prefixes. In this tutorial, I'll show you how one removes various ways to remove prefixes, whether you have Python 3.9 or earlier version of Python, um, you can um, use these methods to easily, very easily, you can use it as either a one-liner or more than one-liners to remove these um, uh, Python prefixes. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you the how to use the string objects, uh, remove prefix and remove suffix method, uh, you know, multi lines as well as a one line way to do it. Um, this will effectively help you remove either the prefixes or the suffixes at the end of a sen sentences. Um, so for this demonstration, I have on my left, I have a, a, a Python interactive shell. It's running Python 3.9 and I have my kind of cut and paste uh, script on the right hand side from which I'll cut and paste uh, to sh give you a demonstration. So this is my original string. For example, if you can see, this is a prefix. The, the package config equals is a prefix I want to remove and I want the rest of the path in my string. So how do we do that? So first of all, let's formulate the string. So we have my string. So now for the next step, what I'm going to do is use the my strings. I'll give it the string, my original string, which is my string, and I'll call the remove prefix method, the string method of the string object, and pass it the package config path, the string prefix that I need to remove. That's it, that's it. One line, right? Let's see how that works. And voila, I got my string I wanted in a new string. So that is a string I wanted. The package config path equals that whole string has been removed from the prefix. Just as simple as that. Um, can we do this as a one-liner? Let's say that you know you had a lambda script and you wanted to pass something like this to a lambda script. You needed just like a one line thing. Can we do this in one line? Yeah, sure, you can. I mean, that, that's what the beauty of Python is. You can convert many things into a one liner. So how do we do that? So let's say um, this time I'll call it a new string one, let's say. So N-E-W under S-T-R-I-N-G string one equals, and I'll cut and paste this whole line I'll explain to you in a minute what this is doing. So what I'm doing over here is I'm taking that whole original string that I had, I'm taking that and I'm passing it. So Python, you can do that and then add the dot and the remove prefix, call the remove prefix method directly on that string. Python implicitly, implicitly converts whatever things you, uh, 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 a whole bunch of characters that you give it in inside quotes that it'll convert it into an implicit string object. So I call, since it is an implicit string object, I just call the remove prefix method on it and give it the prefix that I want to remove. And it does everything by magic and the prefix is removed. Let's see if that worked. So hit enter here. 
new one SDI string one. And hey, you know, it's the same thing. I got, if you look over here, new string has the same path before, new string one has the same path. Uh, you can see that I used more than one line before. I used uh, a few lines here, but here this one was like a one liner and called it directly on the implicit string object. So, you know, make, makes it Python 3.9 makes it very easy. If you don't have Python 3.9, if you're still on an older version, I would say, you know, I would encourage you uh, to, to kind of uh, move up to Python 3.9. Keep always keep the latest version of Python, work on that. It just, they keep adding new methods and new ways of doing things, they make it simpler and faster. So it's always good to be on the latest Python revision um, to do things. Now for the curious reader, you might be wondering, hey, you know, yeah, prefix is great, but I really want to remove a suffix from a sentence. How do I do that? Well, you know, they think about everything. That's why Python is such a fun, beautiful language. They think about everything. So while they had a remove prefix method, well, guess what? They provided a remove suffix method. Pretty intuitive, right? Let's see. So here's my string for which I want to remove a suffix. So, you know, in data extraction, I have a whole bunch. Someone sent me a project where I had to remove, you know, I had a, a website and I had to remove the .org and the .coms and the .this and the .that. How do I do that? All right, well, you know, I had a whole bunch of columns of .org, so I wanted to remove the .orgs and just get the middle name. Like, uh, for example, I have here how to remove the suffix .org. So I wanted to remove the .org and keep just how to remove the suffix. So let's see if it does that. So that's my original my string. You guessed it, I use the remove suffix method. Let's see if it got into the new string. There you go. So how to remove this suffix. Again, you can, you know, by, this is like a three line or two liner. You can do this in one line as I had showed you about um, to remove either the uh, prefix or the suffix. Uh, now you might be wondering, hey, I don't really have Python 3.9. Um, can I do this? I'm using Python 2.7. Can I really do this? I and mean, can I still remove, easily remove prefixes and suffixes uh, from my string um, using, let's say, Python 2.7? Yeah, sure. I During my research, I found out that, hey, you know, this is, yes, although we have these really simple intuitive remove suffix, remove prefix methods in Python 3.9, the previous versions of Python, it's it's still easy to do that. It's it's slightly difficult, I think, in terms of not difficult. It's it's not very intuitive in terms of syntax, but you can still do it. It's it's still pretty easy. It can be done as a one-liner. Uh, let's see how to do that. Again, I have my interactive Python screen on the left and I have my script on the right. Uh, I'll cut and paste. This is my original string. This is the prefix I want to remove from my original string. I just put this in as a separate variable just to make things easy for this next step I'm going to show you to remove the prefix. So this is a, a trick that's used in the previous versions of Python um, to remove a prefix, for example. What you're doing is my prefix is your prefix that you want to remove. So what you're doing is you're, you're giving it my prefix and you're taking the length of it. It's finding, you're calling the length method, um, the string method to get the length of a string, to get a length of a string object. And it gives the length and what you're doing is giving it the colon. So this, this is actually a classic uh, Python slicing um, method to uh, slicing a, of a string object to get the particular 
part of the string that you need. So what you are doing is you're providing it the length that the length provides how much of you know how far in do you want to go from the beginning of the string to the point where you know you want to remove the prefix. So what you're doing is leaving the prefix behind and you're going to the particular point where you want to cut it and take the rest of the string right up to the end. And that's what the colon, note over here that you're not giving anything after the colon. That's telling Python that, you know, take the rest of the string after, you know, so think of it as A colon B. So you're saying, you know, uh, take uh, uh, index A and all the way up to B. Um, so by saying just colon, you're specifying, implicitly specifying the rest of the string. So let's see if that worked. Hey, there it is. So that's the rest of the string again. Now, does it work similarly for the suffix? Yep, it is very similar to the suffix, but it's, it's very subtly different. So note how how the colon notation is, how the slicing notation is done. That's what is different. That's why I said that it's a little bit not intuitive, but it's there, you can do it. So if you are using 2.7 or you know, any versions of Python before 3.9 that does not have remove suffix and um, you know, remove prefix, then you can still use this method and effectively you know, remove the prefixes and suffixes. So let's see how to remove the suffix this time. Same thing. So that's my suffix, and this is my magic one-liner. Let's see. And how to remove the suffix. That's the one. So I effectively removed the dot org. Now, as I was saying earlier, take note of you know where the colon is now and how one is taking the negative of len my suffix. So what you're effectively giving it, it is a negative index. So what you're saying is to the slicing method is go, um, go backwards, count backwards from the rightmost point and go in length of the suffix, go in that many uh, characters left and then take the rest of the strings all, all the way to the beginning. So that's what you're telling the slicing method to do and voila, how to remove the suffix is what you get in there. So you have effectively removed the dot org. Now, can this be done as a one-liner? Yeah, sure, it can be done as a one-liner. Let's see how to do it. So I'm showing you the one-liner for the same thing as I showed about the remove the prefix. You can see that you know this is an implicit whole implicit string object, and you're giving it the same slicing method that uh, along with the len, and here you're giving it the prefix a package config path equals is a prefix, and it effectively removes um, the prefix and just gives you the rest of the string. Did it work? Yep, it worked. So same thing, one-liner. Um, you can always go to the blog that I have, the corresponding blog uh, for this video and all these methods you can cut and paste um, and you know try it out for yourself. You're still here. Oh, you're still watching this video, I guess. Uh, you are not convinced and you want another method uh, to, to kind of remove the prefix and uh, the suffix. Yep, there is another method still. Um, and I'll show you how you use a partition string method. It's called. It's a little bit more kludgy than you know that the very neat and intuitive remove suffix, remove prefix method that we had. It's a little bit more kludgier, and you need uh, you know a little bit more um, kind of work uh, involved to kind of figure out what the heck is going on. Um, let's see how to do it. So again, uh, that's my interactive screen, and here is my original string. I'm going to remove the suffix of it. What I'm doing this time is I'm using the partition method. I'm 
let's see if it did it all right so note here that when you use a string a partition method what you're getting is actually in the result is a three tuple uh, a, a, a three tuple meaning there are three three elements to it so it's a three tuple yeah what it essentially did is, is it, it took your whole string and you gave it you gave the partition method the equal to sign you told it where exactly to partition the string and it took that partition um, character and it blasted the string apart so it gave you like the prefix of it uh, it gave you the equal to sign and it gave you the rest of it so now how you can see over here clearly that you know this is your prefix that you wanted to remove and this is the rest of the body that you wanted to keep so now how do you get the, the body uh, what you need to do is since it's a three tuple what you're going to do is take not the zeroth element not the first element but you're taking going to take the second element and that'll be you know what you need let's see if that happens so if you do new string and sub index 2 that should give you what you want so like i said in the new in index you take the sub uh, the index 2 will give you the the body uh, that you wanted of the string you have removed the prefix eff effectively and this is you know another method you can do it uh, can you do the suffix too yep it's the same thing with the suffix just note that um, when you do the suffix you have to take a different element out from the three tuple you're removing the suffix so it'll be you know the, the you'll give it the uh, dot for example in our example over here it will be the dot so it will blast it into three parts with dot being the middle so you won't take the last part which is the suffix you won't take the dot which you don't want but you'll take you know the, the body of it that you really want so let's see if how that works that's my original string I'm asking it to partition. Note that I used R partition. R partition is when you want to do partition on the right side of it. So it's the reverse of partition. So just be careful. So it's it, like I said, it's not really as intuitive as um, you know Python 3.9's remove suffix and um, remove prefix, but it's there. So it's an alternate for you if you ever find you're in a situation where you cannot use Python 3.9. This is what this is how you would do it. So again, see this how this R partition, what it did is it blasted the, the it, uh, it separated the whole string that you had, the original string into three parts, a three tuple. And what you need is the first part of the tuple. So yeah, you got it. You, you get the index, the zeroth index of it. And that will be your answer. That's your answer. So you take the zeroth index and that's your uh, effectively, uh, you know, the, the string that you wanted. So just a quick uh, recap, um, I showed you a few methods uh, in Python 3.9, there was a remove suffix, uh, remove prefix method, very intuitive to remove you know, the prefix and the suffix of, um, of any given string. Um, then if you don't have Python 3.9 in the previous versions, I showed you how to use a Python len method and the slicing, string slicing to you know, get the prefix and the suffixes. Um, not as intuitive as remove suffix, remove prefix, but it's still good enough. And then the, lastly, I showed you um, uh, the partition and the R partition method, uh, you know, for pre Python 3.9. You can still use it. it. It requires a bit of thinking because it returns three tuples. It's not as clean, but still works. So there you have um, uh, many choices to, you know, cut the same apple different ways. Thanks for watching this tutorial. This tutorial was brought to you by Finkster Academy.